Somehow I missed an article that Nick Popovich, one of the developers behind Simon 2, did for the website for the win. They revealed a few truths, including a harsh one about multiplayer, so let's just dive right in. Once again, they talk about the absence of colors. Almost all objects are in just one color. They're prismatic and kaleidoscopic, or however you should pronounce that, but even down to the blades of grass that shimmer along the edges in a technicolor. It has been talked about frequently and they don't reveal anything new on that front. But to achieve this, Monomi Park made what they call a realistic, physical-based rendering pipeline. Essentially, it's a complex graphic system to render a 3D image on screen. But due to its complexity, it's also very unlikely we'll see the introduction of co-op in Slime Ranger 2. Now, while Popovich of course expresses that they aren't against multiplayer, but due to the complexity of the physics system, it is quite taxing on any system, and for that reason they don't want to add a second player to the game, because that would double the tax on your console or PC. Afterwards, they compare the physics system of the single player Fallout or Dishonored games with that of for example Fallout 76 or Arcane's Their Recent Deadloop as these two games really show how the physics engine had to be dumbed down to allow the introduction of a second player. So I just want to mention that I don't think you should compare Fallout 76 performance to anything but a dumpster fire, because it doesn't really fare well as justification in this conversation, in my opinion. But either way, while Popovich doesn't say there will never be co-op in Slime Rancher, they don't have any plans for it meaning there probably won't be any co-op in Slime Rancher ever. But just let's talk about something else while you're working through that news. Now in Slime Rancher 2 we will no longer have pumps, drills or aviaries. We already knew that, but it has now been revealed that players will be able to mine ore by ripping it straight from the veins with a vacuum gun. And this will really make the recent news of the ability to unlock additional vacuum slots very welcome. There was also a new reveal about the new ring-tailed slime. Now it's loosely based on the ring-tailed cat, a species of raccoon with striped tail. They are playful, will eat anything and will continue eating anything. They are like slime-shaped garbage disposal shoots and Popovich actually hinted that they also have a secret, but we will have to wait until the game launches to find out what it is. Additionally, Popovich once again mentions that we'll get more quickly access to slime science than we did in the first game, allowing you to upgrade your equipment much more quickly, and you'll also be able to build your teleportation network faster to get around Rainbow Island. There were a few weird things in the article that I skipped over, like how pink slimes were inspired by the additive butchers add to the meat to make it hit that certain grade of fat. I don't know about you, but I didn't really need to know that. There were also a few mentions about diversity being showcased in ways through the game, the ecological meaning behind slimes being thrown into the slime sea, because they will return to the land whenever they want to, because they're not really dead, they will just return to the land. Honestly, in my opinion, some parts of the article felt to me like they were filling pages, or just want to give the game more hidden meaning behind it than it necessarily needs to be a fun game. But that's everything the article talks about. Ringtail slimes eat everything and have a secret, you get to collect slime science resources with your vacuum gun, and there most likely won't be any co-op. If you want some more information on Slime Rancher 2, be sure to check this video out, and I'll see you there.